a perfect lyrical line, a collaboration in Columbus, and being a Kiddush Hashem. I'm Lenny Solomon, and this is The Lenny Solomon Show. Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Lenny Solomon Show, Webisode 11. In today's episode, we're going to talk about writing the perfect parody lyrical line. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. The Four Corners Project, of course. A 501c3 not-for-profit corporation whose, whose mission is to reach the Jews scattered to the four corners of the world through music and media. It's great, it's informal Jewish education, and it will help you all, the Jewish family, watching today. So go to www.fourcornersproject.org and support the work of the Four Corners Project. And now, on with the show. So, Back in 1991, we were working on Sergeant Schlocker's Magical History Tour. Now, most of you know that I write all the parodies. Occasionally, I'll get an idea here and there, but rarely do I collaborate. In this case, though, the song was Into the Sea, and the original is Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. I was in Columbus, Ohio, at the Epstein House, and my band was with me. At that point, Danny Block, Gary Wallen, Yona Lloyd, and... We were working on the song together. Each one of us were picking lines, and we came up with the perfect lyrical line. The song starts, the seaweed is always greener, and we did, you see we don't want to be here. So seaweed became you see we, and that is one of the ways you write a perfect lyrical line for a parody. Let's go to the piano, and we'll play you Into the Sea. You see, we don't want to be here. There's so much that we can take. Our people have been mistreated, and that was a big mistake. The world that you see around you, soon it will be no more. So now I have come to warn you, we want to go out the door. Into the sea, into the sea. Go through the sand and into the land of milk and honey. In Egypt they work us night and day So in your land we cannot stay We're letting you know our people must go now into the sea <laughs> Today's story from the road comes to us For anybody that's ever lost their temper at a sky cab Or ever lost their temper when traveling and something doesn't go your way Remember, you are representing That's called being a Kiddush Hashem Sanctifying God's name when we lose our temper, we lose. But when we control ourselves and act as professionally as possible, we are representing God, and that's the most important thing. For everybody out there, hope you enjoyed the podcast. See you next time. I'm Yisrael Chai.